age of students being diverted from the school to prison pipeline getting younger and younger, leading to disturbing scenes like this one of a preschool student being taken into police custody. Okay, she's gonna have to come with us now. Okay, Kaya, you Stand have to up. go with them, baby girl. Kaya appeared not to understand what the police officers were doing. I don't know. Okay, no, I want to come to <laughs> when children are in crisis, you don't call in a police officer to make it worse. What you do is you call into your support staff. You call into the nurse. You call into the social worker, the school counselor, the school psychologist. An award-winning documentary breaks down the preschool to prison pipeline. And joining us this morning is the director and producer of the film, Dr. Karen Baptiste. Good morning, Dr. Baptiste. Good morning. Thank Powerful. you for having me. Oh, my gosh. It is so hard to watch that. How old was that child, first of all? Six. Six years yes. old. Oh and she probably didn't even fully turn six. She was in kindergarten, so that's five, six. Oh, my goodness. So as a teacher in the Bronx, you actually witnessed this firsthand, this prison or this preschool to prison pipeline yes how old are the youngest kids then that actually get suspended and and where do you see this leading to down the road kids as young as three and four what? are being suspended and even expelled having handcuffs placed on them as you saw in that footage mm -hmm. kai was taken to the police station and everything that we teach our children about don't talk to strangers yeah. and protecting them not a single adult in that building went to the police station with her. She was put in handcuffs and sent with a male alone in a squad car and even taken to a police station and had her mugshot taken. Wow, oh my that gosh. is... For crying hysterically on the carpet. Oh, oh my goodness. So let's talk about just the fact that you're talking about police, right? That's a big topic in schools. Police yes. becoming more and more visible in schools. Some are for it, some are against it. Right. Where do you kind of see this going? Is there an alternative to keeping kids safe? Absolutely. Right. And so at the end of the day, we all want children to be safe, right? We want educators to be safe as well. It's knowing when do you need to involve law enforcement. Yeah. This is really about utilizing the resources of law enforcement when it's not necessary. School mm -hmm. matters that are now becoming a police matter. So children crying on the carpet where it's uncontrollable, you don't need to call in a police officer. We're actually wasting resources of police officers when we're calling them in because they're not trained to deal with a child in crisis. So when you look at the school system, what we need to do with our teachers is actually retrain and get school social workers, psychologists, counselors, nurses. That's what we need to bring in and ensure that people are equipped of how do I deal with a child who right. is in crisis Absolutely. and I'm trying to teach. It should never be to punish the child and to be so harsh with this and call in a police officer. And I feel like this immediately destroys any kind of a potential relationship, good relationship yes. between police and yes. children. Right? Yes, it really absolutely. Does. But let me ask you this specifically, mm -hmm. though. So zero, zero tolerance policies combined with implicit bias, they play a, a big part also. Yes. Can you explain that? Absolutely. We Everyone has implicit bias. Everyone has, and bias inherently is not a bad thing. Bias becomes problematic based on what we do with that bias that we have. And what we're finding in the education system is that people are, they come in with this bias, they are not trained to even acknowledge the bias and then how it plays out in their behavior. There was a 2016 Yale uh, Student Center report done, right, where they had these teachers go in and they told them to sit at this computer and they used this eye tracking software and they they said, we're going to show you videos of children and we want you to track the students who are misbehaving. Black teachers, white teachers, mm. brown teachers all tracked black boys. Wow. And wow. they did not know that it was tracking their yeah. eyes. Wow. And that's what they found. And so this is the type of training and support that is needed in teacher prep programs, leadership prep programs, where it's we just acknowledge what is the bias that I have. And oftentimes people don't walk around thinking about daily what their bias is. Yeah, right? and then on the flip side of everything, on the back end, there's the whole thing that happens after somebody is taken into custody, right? There's yes. the whole sentencing process and it plays right. out. Your documentary highlighting that as it well. It does. Yes, and so that number, right, when you look at 
black students represent 18% of the population in school, but they account for 43% of the arrests in school. Mm. So there's a huge disproportionality when we start talking about arrests. When we look at children with disabilities as well, this is not just happening to children of color, this mm -hmm. also happens to white children, children with disabilities. We have 1.5 million approximately preschoolers in this country, and 7% of that population is students with special needs. However, they account for two and a half times the amount of suspensions mm. wow. and even arrests than their non-disabled peers. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Some of your findings have, are so upsetting and disturbing, yeah. but hopefully it will lead to positive change. Yes. So we appreciate you being here this Thank morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And uh, you can you can actually have their screenings as well. Screening this quickly. Sunday uh, for the Bushwick Film Festival. We had our red oh, carpet yeah. premiere last night. So Sunday at 345 at the Williamsburg Center, Williamsburg Cinema in Williamsburg, okay. Brooklyn. Gotcha. Wonderful. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.